Hello everyone, I'm Milo, and welcome to my stream today. Um, I've been playing a lot of Itch.io games recently, and they're fun, so I'm going to play more today. So this week's the uh, stream is themed around the recent um, event, what do you call it, like a day? It was the Transgender Day of Visibility recently. I missed it, of course, by uh, a week or two, but that's alright. Um, topical things don't need to be topical no but we can celebrate uh trans positivity and non-binary um positivity any day of the year so anyway what i did was i went to itch.io and in the tags which you can see in on any games page under more information um you can see this one's tag with transgender so i looked through that tag and um sorted it by genre and stuff um and picked out a few games that looked fun and cool to me. Some of them are about the transgender experience, whether directly or through metaphor. And some are just cool games that happen to have transgender or non-binary characters. By the way, I searched the non-binary tag as well. But um, without any further ado, let's get started on the first one. This is by Ash G. And it's called Defrag Memories, and it's only playable in the browser. A lot of the other ones are downloadable. Yeah, it's a Pico 8 one actually, so that's cool. I know this works, so it's probably a better way to do it, but this is what I'm going to do to make the game fill the screen. Actually, no, I know that Pico 8 games have that full screen button. Oh, where'd it go? Never mind. <laughs> I'll do the zooming thing. It's cool. <clears throat> Yes, so I have played some Pico 8 games before, recently on my Itch.io uh, Animal Games stream, and they're always fun and creative with a very limited pixel, uh, you know, resolution. Hey, Tonya's here. Hello, Tonya. Very good to see you. <laughs> uh, Tonya says, non-binary smiley face, um, but also they're applying for unemployment, but otherwise well. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah, I hope, hope you get some help from the government. <laughs> All right, let's go to the About page to start with. The Networked Empathy Bank, a space where they upload and defrag the world's jumbled consciousness. Remnabot 2K finds and collates fragments of memory from across its archive zones, recreating person-specific empathy archives. Its subject today is AG1970TQQ+. What does that person have to say, and why are other Remnabots trying to subvert this project? And the kitchen door just closed. I have to open it because the cat's in there. Hold on a second. And we're back. Um... Yes, so let's start. So this is an attempt by Ash G to um, make a game about you know issues and and to have narrative elements, but also put it in the framework of an action arcadey game um, without uh, compromising and sacrificing either of those too much. So our job is to roam around this sort of maze area, avoiding the other Remnabots who are trying to stop us for some reason, um, while picking up the memory fragment fragments. And as we do so, we can read their contents. So we're in the network zone of those who knew us before we came out. And I've found, oh, no, alert, general gender output failure. Remnant found, oh, no, gender crash alert. I have to read these things before I get hit. It feels like my old friends support me. So these are thoughts and feelings um, inspired by the author's experiences um, that are to do with transitioning and um, gender issues and stuff. The social net has been so positive. That's nice. Online trans spaces sometimes reject me. Oh, that's sad. Um, we're now in the new spaces on the web area. Oops. And the voice in your head, never sure if I want to use a TQQ label. To be honest, I'm not sure what the TQQ label is. I'm sorry, I did not look that up. Let me fly all the gender flags today. And you might notice that the walls of this maze that we're running through are made up of um, different pride flag 
uh, imagery. So yeah, the, the blue, pink, and white is the trans pride flag. Yeah, and then there's purple, yellow, black, green. Uh, Tonya, help me out. I don't know what that is. <laughs> there's a lot of pride flags and I have not mastered all of them yet, I'm sorry. Okay, we're now in communities that made us feel normal, seeking queer places for queer faces. The Museum of Transology reassures me. Oh, that's cool. Sounds like a good place. The Mali, a place to relax and question. Ah. Error, invalid gender notion. Ah. Uh, trans pride shows there's a space for me. So yeah, there's a lot of positivity here, yeah, represented by the pickups. Not every space is right for me, but also some kind of reflection and negative experiences. Some spaces are unexpectedly positive. So we've restored 75% of this archive profile. That's nice. One day, this will this all come together? I hope old and new lives will coexist. Gifts from old friends suggest it will. Now I've missed something, so now I need to retrace my steps. Yeah, it seems like in this game, the penalty for getting hit by one of the antagonist characters here is just that you lose your current remnant um, display, which in a game that is supposed to be about discovering um, these narrative uh, breadcrumbs is a penalty, but um, otherwise it's not like you're losing progress or getting sent back, which is nice. The web shows me others who are like me. Some welcome me, but I feel out of place. So that's 100%. What do I do now? <laughs> um, let me see. Oh, Danger Mouse is here. Very good to see you. Um, she's got me on both big and little screen, and they're out of sync. <laughs> but she's happy about the pride flags. And Tonya says, I think I see the non-binary flag there. That's cool. That's good. Oh yeah, these arrows. Nope, that's where I started. Right. Let's go back to that other dead end. Maybe there'll be an exit portal. But it's highly possible that this game is just this one screen. That's possible. Um, several of the games I'm playing today, uh, well, first of all, they were made by trans and non-binary creators, which is nice. Very nice. Um, so they can speak directly about their experiences through the medium of uh, the video game. But um, a lot of, uh, I was about to say, a lot of them are also made for game jams, so they might be quite short experiences. Um, game jams usually only run uh, maybe two weeks or a month. Um, they're supposed to be about people getting creative in a short time and slapping something together, but often result in, in um, projects that are quite um, good. <laughs> uh, transcendent, you might say, or you know, unexpectedly inspired and most of all experimental so I think that's it yeah that might be it uh, let's read the description on the page and see if it tells us um, deliver deliver the subjects to the person subjects personal empathy archive folder so maybe those arrows is where I need to actually return to and then press a button I didn't try pressing buttons actually I've just been moving around I go here. No, okay. The buttons are only for man navigating menus, I guess. Um, hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, oh, we have a new guest in chat, Fly Feline, saying, I heard mentions of trans games from Tony and I have arrived. Nice, good to have you. Hope you have some fun today. <laughs> Antonia says that they like the game's vagueness. It's very abstract. Danger Mouse is asking if the antagonists are seeking me out specifically or are they following a predetermined path? As far as I can determine, they are following their own path that just loops around, that is um, determined by the walls of the arena. Um, all right, I'm gonna read some comments and see if there's, oh, no comments. But there is the development log, which is actually pretty interesting to read. Um, fan of 80s arcade games and narrative games and they're trying to put them together in this so it's interesting 
And by the way, the jam that this one was made for was Rainbow Jam 2019, a game, uh, a jam all about games with LGBT plus themes, as they say here. And yeah, I guess that's it. So I do like what they're trying to do, and I think they succeeded in, in that combining of those elements. Um, so yeah, you can look this up if you like and read that description on your own time, but yeah, let's play some other games. Oh, it's Penny. Hi, Penny. Yeah. I am the Milo that <laughs> you think I am. We've been on in the same discords before. So yeah, good to see you, Penny. All right. Um, so now that I've played that, I can actually close the browser, which should free up some computer resources for me to play other games. Oh, I have this finder folder open with Saturday Supercade episodes. That was not supposed to happen. Right, what do I have next on the list? Well, there's a lot of games. I sort of have them in an arbitrary list. So this is actually one of the more popular ones and it's the one that I've marked on my Twitch um, game playing thing because it was on the database. So let's try it out. A lot of the games in the transgender and non-binary tags in um, uh, Itch.io are interactive fiction, visual novels, that kind of thing. Not my usual forte and not really a genre that I'm super into but I felt it was important to at least play one and this is one of the more popular ones. So uh, I'm gonna check it out. It's by NPC KC. They've got a lot of games actually um, with themes similar to this and a few in the same series that are follow-ups to this, but this is the first one that they did um, in this series, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, lots of chat. Uh, Tonya says, gender identity is very important for me. I kind of shift a lot in how I'm feeling a day but I've been closer to they and them later. And Penny says, same, that's great. Okay, I'll use they pronouns for you, thank you. Um, my pronouns are he, him for now, I guess. Uh, so I'll just stick with that. Um, it's just how I feel at times. Penny says, I'm she, her most of the time. Shift into they, them at times as well. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Tonya laughing at me for Saturday Supercade, you freaking dork. Ah, Gibbons here. That's the reason that I've got a Saturday Supercade folder open on my desktop. We're going to do a podcast episode about it soon-ish. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Penny says that um, she... She said most of the time, they, them at times. Okay, <laughs> Penny said that they grabbed this off Steam a while back and keeps meaning to play it. It's a cute little trans WLW one. Uh, I don't know what that acronym means, sorry, <laughs> initialism. All right, no more um, messing around, let's start. What on, who on earth could be calling me? Oh, there's sounds and everything, that's really cool. This game has quite good production values and as you tell the art, it's absolutely adorable. Haru, it's been so long since I've talked to you. Sorry for calling so suddenly, you're not busy, are you? Not busy at all. How have you been, Manami? I've been wonderful, thanks, and that's why I wanted to call you. My birthday is coming up, and since it's my 20th, my parents said they would let me go on a trip with my friends. So my plan is to go on a trip to the hot springs with my two best friends, and of course that includes you. My parents will pay for everything, so don't worry about the cost. Hot springs? But you know that I'm... I know, I know, which is why I'm calling to talk to you first before deciding anything. Hurry, you you're my oldest and closest friend. It would mean so much to me if you were with me to celebrate my 20th birthday but I also want you to enjoy yourself to the fullest. So let me know what I can do to make you as comfortable as possible. Oops. But it's been years since I've been to a public bath, let alone a hot spring. I know, which is why it's a good chance. You'll be with me. So if anything or anyone bothers you, you can tell me. I'm not really worried about me being uncomfortable. It's more everyone else. It'll be fine. Nobody will pay any attention. They will. Haru, nobody cares as much as you think they do. I promise. Please come for me. Oh, WLW means woman loving woman. Okay. <laughs> Tonya says this is very wholesome already. It's, it certainly is, yes. I've picked games um, to fit in with my general stream strategy that are family friendly. There are some on itch that are lewd and some that are um, maybe violent or uh, contain negative speech in an attempt to portray an actual lived experience of um, transgender people but I've tried to um, minimize that just for the sake of creating a more positive attitude and family-friendly attitude in the stream, I guess. So, yes. Uh, right, what should I say? If they have reserved baths or sorry, I just... I think we need to go along with it. Um, like, and sorry, I just is a negative response, but so we're gonna 
be positive about the situation. Fine, if they have reserve, par reserve parts, I'll go. Yes, it's going to be the best birthday ever. I'll call you again when everything's been sorted out. Beep. <laughs> she always hangs up so fast. I can't believe I agreed to go to the hot springs. What should I do? How do women behave when they go to hot springs together? I find it odd that she was uh, sleeping with her phone next to her and her phone wasn't charging, but that's because I charge my phone in overnight. I don't know if other people do that or not. I, I, I remember seeing it in anime a lot. Is they just have it on their pillow or next to them. And like, when do these people charge their phones? Anyway, let's see, what, let's see what the search terms hot springs with female friends get me. Oh, an article titled when going to the hot springs with your girlfriends. You don't have to care that much about makeup. So I should worry about it a little. <laughs> don't worry about bus size. Well, I guess I don't really have a bus to worry about. But don't forget to shave. Wait, shave? Which parts? How much? Ah, I just don't know. I'll just have to figure it out as I go. I'll just wait until Minami calls me with more details. This is enough internet for me today. Guess I'll turn in for today. Wait, what? <laughs> you just woke up and you're going to sleep again? That was a very short day. <laughs> okay, cool. Skipping the, the fluff. We're just sticking with the important things in this game, I guess. I'm really here. What on earth am I doing? I'm not really prepared for this, but I'm here now. I just have to power through this. You can do it, Haru. Haru, over here. Where? Hi, Manami. Oh, wow, Haru, I love your hair. Thanks, I decided to grow it out. It looks amazing. Thanks, Manami. Hey, Manami, don't forget about me. I need to give these people different accents or something. <laughs> oh, sorry, Erica. This is Haru, my childhood friend. And Haru, this is Erica, my friend from high school. Okay, she's going to be um, English, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> uh, English, English. The last name's Nagata, in case you were wondering. I'm Haru Suzuki. It's nice to meet you. Um, you can speak more casually, you know. We're the same age. We're the same age? Yep, or close enough. Eric is 20. Yeah, I heard from Minami that you two went to the same preschool. Yes, er, uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Wow, you really need to loosen up. A dip in the hot spring would probably do you some good. My, my accent's slipping. Manami, you're gonna check us in or what? <laughs> right, let's go then. Welcome. Hello, I have a res reservation under Tachibana. Yes, we have your reservation. Would you please fill out this registration card? Haru, Erika, could you fill out your information? Let's do it. By the way, this is set in Japan. I, I'm not sure if the original game is Japanese and has been translated. Um, but uh, yeah, keep that in mind. First, my name. I probably need to write my legal name, uh, which is uh, Suzuki Haruto. And my legal gender too. Uh, I should fill out the rest of the form. Age 19, address and occupation. <laughs> yes, censored. I'm finished. Uh, Mr. Haruto Suzuki, I probably need to answer. Oh boy. Um, play it cool. That would be me. I see. Your room is the Ginkgo room on the second floor. Please enjoy your stay. Let's go to our room then. I'm gonna buy a drink first. My throat is like a desert. See you back at the room. Yeah. Tonya says this is sad, oh dear. Yeah. But it's it's authentic, I guess, you know. <laughs> Danger Mouse likes me reading in character. And saying that her um, overnight charging routine has gone out the window since staying home all the time. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. Let's go to the room. Putting on a brave face there, Haru. <clears throat> Nice, it's a proper tatami room. Tatami is so much trouble to clean, but I love how it looks. I love tatami too, it has such a nice smell. I just want to lie down and sleep on it. All true, this is all true. Go ahead, me and Suzuki here will just head to the hot springs while you're snoozing away. <laughs> now I'm doing Rick Mail, great. <laughs> no, don't go without me, I want to go to the hot springs too. 
I'm just kidding, though I do plan on heading to the hot springs ASAP. Too much studying hunched over at my desk lately. I need to give my stiff shoulders a break. Hot springs. We should get changed first, I guess. The Yukata should be around here somewhere. Not here. Or here. Found them. One for each of us. Oh, they're cute. I wonder if they're for sale. Let's get changed. Uh, I'll change in the bathroom. What's up with... Oh. <laughs> Tonya says, who needs to sleep? 3 a.m. is my sleep to 2 p.m. Ha ha ha. I don't have a job. Yikes. Sorry about that. All right, here we go. Thank goodness the Yukata are unisex. I just hope that it's big enough for me. It looks like it should fit me fine. Yukata are all straight lines, so not having a waist or much of a chest is better. So it's perfect for me. I hope I can tie it well. I just noticed there's a heart indicator in the corner and I don't know what that's for. Okay, that's not a good bow. Let me try that again. Maybe this is a little better. Oh, very cute. I'm okay with this. <laughs> Kevin says, I wish I could sleep all day. Still have to work even though I'm cooped up at home all day. Tanya says, I don't mind much. Don't worry, actually. I'm being paid right now for a bit. And then unemployment should help for a few months. So that's good. Um, oh, okay. Penny's going to sleep. Uh, uh, cool. Good to good to see you. Thanks for dropping by. And sleep well. Okay. Sorry for the wait. Oh, looking pretty good. Yeah, if I didn't know better, I would have thought, Erica, I told you not to say. It's okay. It's better than the other possible reaction. Oh, she's smiling, so that's good. Uh, let's get going. I need to check the times for the reserve baths. Um... What, you're not heading into the women's bath with us? That would be a bit too, you know. I don't think it'd be that big of a deal. Erica, don't. It's fine, I wanna check out the reserve baths anyway. Come on, let's go. Um, Haru, Erica and I are gonna head in then. You don't have to worry about me, I'll see you again at dinner time. That's what she said, Manami, let's go already. Don't grab my arm. See you later, Suzuki. I'm making Manami worry. I've got to stop that. First, I should find out how to reserve the bath. Excuse me. How do I book the reserve baths? If you mean the family baths, please head to your left and write your name and room on the reservation list. Thank you. The family baths are to your right. Yes, thank you. I came here, but is it really okay for someone like me to head into a family bath? Can you even use family baths on your own? I'd just be taking away a time slot from an actual family. Ah, the anxiety. So real. Um, I want to go to the baths with my friends, so I'm going to give up on the family bath. Aw. I can just take a shower back in my room. That's, this way I won't cause trouble for anyone else. It's a nice room too. I can relax until dinner. No point in loitering here. See, my cat has joined me. Hello, Midna. I have a couple of hours before dinner time. Oh no, my hearts have dropped again, I think. From two to one now. Manami and Nagata probably won't be back for a while either. How should I pass the time? Only one option. Nap time. <laughs> wow. Tanya watched Sesame Street today, and it was Elmo's social distancing, talking to his celebrity friends. Tokyo Disneyland missed its birthday. Uh, I'm sure Duffy the Disney bear will be very sad about that. Quick nap. Time passed pretty quickly. And they're back. Um... Well, the reason I chose not to go in is, uh, but then it didn't happen, you know. I'll, I'll be honest, I didn't go in. Why not? They were all booked. Did 
Do you two enjoy the hot springs? <laughs> Ooh, is there romantic tension here? Good evening. <laughs> yes. Tea for the underage people, yes. I think drinking age is 20 in Japan. <laughs> yeah, beer's gross. You're not gonna like it. <laughs> You're better off. Tofu nabe. Wow, what a spread. Don't worry, Erica, it's all vegetarian. Oh, really? Yeah, actually, that is true. There is gelatin sometimes in salads. Okay. Come by. Time to eat. Mmm, tempura. I don't know what my tuck is. Delicious. <laughs> nice banter. I've given up on the voices, by the way. <laughs> I'm not sure how far to go with this game, lots of time. Yeah, I should go to the next game pretty soon. This is just sort of a taster. I'm not gonna play through all these games. <laughs> uh oh, gonna have to have a difficult conversation. I'm sure she really does just have good intentions, but I haven't really properly talked about this to anyone before. Uh, let's do it. <laughs> I'm just a bit curious since you're the first transgender person I've ever met. That might not be true. You might have met other transgender people before that you just didn't notice. Um, if Manami hadn't told me, I wouldn't have known you were transgender, Suzuki. Can I just call you Haru? You can call me Erika. I don't mind. Haru then, is that like your transgender name? Uh, no, it's a nickname from when I was a kid. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> okay, I believe uh, this is the true and correct response. It's not like I was a guy before, I've always been a girl. Just my appearance doesn't completely match who I am. And this is something that I myself have uh, struggled with in the past, but I think I understand this better now. Um, <laughs> uh, let me see. Danger Mouse is saying that Play School had a dis social distancing special and she was underwhelmed. And all options led me to lying, which is boo. Um, yeah. As Tonya says, she means well, just is awkward. It is indeed awkward. Sorry, I shouldn't have phrased it that way. What was your name again? I heard it a check in. How to talk, right? You probably shouldn't ask that sort of thing to transgender people. Why? Asking for a name someone isn't using now is kind of like denying who they are now, so... Oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean it that way, so could you forget it? It's okay. I actually like the name Haru. It's unisex. I'd like to change my legal name to Haru if I can. Um... Oh, I guess since you haven't changed your name, you can't use Haru on official documents and stuff. Yep. I guess your legal gender is still... Yep. It must be hard on you. Can't you change it? It's a bit tough. I would need to get gender affirmation surgery and be sterilized. Oh gosh, sounds pretty intense. Um, what? I mean, I guess uh, gender affirmation surgery is cool if you want to change your body anyway, but you need to be sterilized? Yeah, though in some other countries you can change your gender without doing either. Mm-hmm. Japan. Um, 
has different standards for these things in other countries. There are a lot of requirements. Oh, that's sorry, sorry. Uh, um, you also have to be above 20, not married currently, and have no kids who are minors. Wait, why do you have to be unmarried and not have kids? Well, for the marriage bit, because if you change gender, it'd become a same-sex marriage, and that's illegal in Japan. And for the children bit, apparently it would be confusing for them or something. What the hell? I know, I didn't make the law. It might get better though. Some wards allow same-sex partnership now, after all. A ward is like a city area. Um. <laughs> yeah, Tanya says, this game is giving me feels. Every awkward thing that happens is like a moment. I like this game. And <laughs> Given and Tanya both oofing at some of this dialogue. Or at, uh, presumably at the um, stringent laws in Japan. Erica's being a little insensitive, but I guess she means well. I'm sorry for asking you so many questions. I hope I didn't make you uncomfortable. Um, what should I say? I'll thank her for listening. As um, Haru said before, this is the first time she's really spoken about this kind of thing, so it's probably good for her to open up about it. It's fine. I'm actually happy. Thank you for listening. Oh, no, I did the wrong voice again. <laughs> um, I think that after I made you spill out all of that, I definitely owe you one. I talked to one of the attendants earlier. Apparently, while their official stance is that you should enter the baths for your legal gender, this is a question they're actually asked quite often, and they decided that it was unofficially okay as long as you didn't bother other guests. There aren't too many guests today since it's a weekday, and she said that the bath would probably be empty around midnight. So nobody would have a problem if you went to the women's baths, because nobody would be there. I can't just go in. Calm down, it'll be fine. But what if somebody's there? If the baths are big, we'll just keep away from them. But what if they look? They won't look, and even if they do, who cares? If anybody says anything, I'll beat them up. Please don't beat them up. It'll be fine. But but you were drinking earlier. That was hours ago. It's out of my system now. Come on, Haru. Don't you want to enter the women's baths? You're a woman too. You have the right. Yes, let's do it. We're going to the baths. Okay. All the keys are in the lockers. Nobody's in the hot springs. Let's go. What's the time? Um, yeah, you wash before you get in the in the bath. That's how these things work. Oh, so cute. Wow, it's so nice in here. The water feels so smooth. That's because it's got a lot of minerals in it that are good for your skin. What do you think? Pretty good, right? Yeah, thanks for bringing me. I don't see what the big deal is. I don't understand why you didn't just come into the bath with Manami and me. You don't get it. Let's pretend for a moment that you're in... Beep boop, beep boop. Um, gym class. In high school, you need to change into your gym uniform. Girls change in the changing room, boys change in the classroom. Where do you change? Uh, I'd go to the changing room with the rest of the girls. Of course you would. What if one of the boys tried to come with you? We'd probably all call him a pervert. But I mean, you look like a girl, Haru. But I'm not, at least not physically, not completely. And a lot of people aren't as lucky with the appearance as me. This isn't just pretend, is it? You're speaking from experience, aren't you? People like you know exactly where you belong, but people like me don't belong anywhere. We can't just enter bathrooms, or change rooms, or hot springs. If I went into a men's bathroom like this, and I was seen, I'd be told I was in the wrong washroom. But society tells me I can't use the women's bathroom either. It's the same for the hot springs, so we have to watch out for ourselves, since nobody else will. Even though we just want to live like everyone else. Um... <laughs> Danger Mouse is saying how the characters are sliding across the screen reminds her of playing with felt board characters. Um, I'm not sure how far to go in the game. You can see a whole log thing. Um, yeah, lots of save slots. And I don't know how long it is, but I think this is a nice little scene. I got to the bath, which was my goal, and we're having a nice conversation. We've, um, you know, covered some of the issues, so that is nice. 
and I want to uh, go on to some of the other games. Um, so yeah, we might leave it there. Very cute little game. Please do check it out. There's sequels too. Um, there's one where you play as Erica in the planning stages for um, going to the hot spring resort and uh, a lot of other ones that NPC KC has made as well. Um, and not just uh, visual novels like that, but some other ones too. So yeah, let's play a different game then. Let me see. Oh, okay, here's the next one. Um, I want performance to be good, so I turn the graphics down, but I'll do full screen because I'm capturing the full screen. And nah. Don't chew my cables, please. Oh, you're chewing on a little paper thing. You want to chew the paper? Over here. Woo. Down there. Down there. Go on. Jump. Get off my desk, please. <laughs> Ta-da. Well, nope. She's not moving. Okay. So, uh, yeah, the next game has a lot of um, mouth-made sound effects. Uh, I haven't been able to monitor the audio mixing because of the full screen games, so I can't see the, the audio balance. So please, in the chat, let me know if um, you want me to turn the game down or up. Um, so yeah, this is uh, Zoe Kablowy in the quest for brunch. Um, <laughs> let's start. So movement. Jump, swing bat, okay, pressing key. Keyboard game. Once upon a time, Zoe Kablowy was on her way to get brunch in the village with her trans slime friends when suddenly the offensively rich slime lord cranked up the rent and replaced the once affordable housing with the opulent condo castle. Worse, in an effort to clean up the neighborhood, police slimes are everywhere and Zoe's slime friends are in slime jail. With her trusty baseball bat, she journeys in to save her friends. And soon, brunch! Oh, I didn't mention, actually, One Night Hot Springs was made for Trans Gal Jam, which is a good source for uh, games as well, with these themes. And yeah, all music and sound effects are made by people using their mouths, which is fun. Much like the Studio Ghibli movie, um, cousin or what's it called? The Wind Rises. I forget the Japanese title. There's like earthquake sound effects and stuff that are just made by people going whoa and stuff. Pretty interesting. Oops. Whoa! Okay. Cool. It's our friend. Rescue from cage. How do I... How do I get... Oh no! It's a police slime. Beats them up. Oh, the um, crate got knocked onto this thing, which is fortuitous. But I don't know how to rescue the slime person. Oh, the button. There's a button over there. Hey, lay off me, buddy. Um, and I believe, so this game um, was made for a jam or a sort of organization called Queerly Representing the Unrepresented, otherwise known as Queerly Represent Me. Yes! Saved my slime friend. Awesome. Um, and part of the judging criteria for that, they have a page for games entered in the jam thing that have sort of signifiers on them, so it tells you um, about the identities of the protagonists and the NPCs and stuff, and it labels the protagonists as um, a trans woman. Ah. So the game does state that her friends are trans slime girls, but she's um, also trans for what it's worth. And getting harassed by police is part of the experience that is being represented here, so that's interesting. Now, how do I get up there? Can I get to this roof? I seem to have a limit on my jumps. Oh, okay, that almost made it. Oh, cool. I do like double jumps, it's excellent. 
But yeah, this game clearly made quickly and on a budget, <laughs> but I like the low poly style, the homemade look. Oh, we're back here? It's alright. I want to get to the castle at least. Oops. No, we need this crate over the wall, don't we? Oh, so when the police comes out, that's when the manhole opens up and the crate gets launched. <laughs> so yeah, this is a little change of pace from the last game, but yeah, that's, that's what this stream is about. <laughs> Showing some variety. Mm, come on. Yes. Oh, what? It didn't go high enough. I wonder if I can sort of skip that bit. Hmm. No, I need a crate in that... on that, um... platform thing. Unless I stand on it. Maybe if I get launched up. Okay. And then I can just run in. Great. Oops. Oh, I didn't make it in time. Nuts. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Tonya says, this is social commentary. I like this. Um, oh, yeah. Danger Mouse is saying a really interesting thing. The school uniforms thing. Um, she's wants to boast that she was successful in getting a gender neutral or slash choice uniform for all children in our school um, with a phase in time of three years regardless of gender and it was a freaking tough fight with some very conservative parents opposed but I was brave and put forward my arguments so that kids don't have to deal with that uniform issue in the future yeah that's amazing I'm really proud of you for that and you've really done well like that's that's such a good thing for um all the kids at your school and I hope that comes into other schools in the future too yeah so thanks that's really cool bam 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 why do all the police ghosts live in the sewer it's just where ghosts live I guess where do the ghosts live in Pac-Man they just kind of live around the place don't they I don't know okay it's like a WarioWare thing, says Tonya. <laughs> That's true, they do have ghosts in the sewer in WarioWare. Ah, oh, I didn't quite make it. Hey. Get battered. Okay, come on, let's go. Yes, perfect. Now, how do I do this? I tried standing... Oh, I didn't try putting the crate on here on this manhole. Maybe that'll help. Okay, and if I'm standing... Oh, I, I can just stand on it, actually. That'll work. Damn it! I got killed again. That's rough. Oh, I checkpointed here. That's nice. Good, good, good. Alright, let's do this. Um, what an odd little game, says Gibbon. And Danger Mouse saying... Yes, that was before, just before COVID-19, so the phase in time might be extended, I don't know. <laughs> also, this game looks really hard and tedious. Well, it's hard, but I think the aesthetics kind of help you to ignore the tedium a bit. But again, these games were made quickly <laughs> for jams. Uh, yeah. I actually haven't told you yet. This is 2018, um, playable on Mac, Linux, and PC and browser. Made by Lauren H. Lauren H. Nuts, come on. Ah. Oh, I started floating away. That's interesting. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can cheese this one. I'm gonna push this crate onto this button. Come on. Yes? No. 
Not quite. No ghost, go away. Oh, not ghosts. They're slimes. It says it said it all the time, and they're slimes. I keep calling them ghosts, but never mind. Okay. I'm gonna try and dash through that door. <laughs> Danger Mouse likes how the police ghosts knock themselves over with the same um, grate that they arrive through. Bam. See, you just need some good timing. Easy peasy. Alright, go. Cool, cool, cool. Yes. The rent is going up as we progress. Oh no, more blocks, more crates. Whoa! Mecha Nimby. Unexpected. We have a bus theme in the background, very nice. Oh, that's me, Dad. <laughs> Checkpointed, though. Um, let me see. Are we going to actually make it? So there's one crate here, one crate here. Grand opening condo castle rent $1 million. Oh, I probably have to lure the robot over to stand on the buttons. To, to free my friend over here. Ouch. I'm wondering when I pack it in or if I keep trying a little bit. Yeah, okay. This is good. Oops. Yes! I freed I freed my friend. Uh now what? Oh boy. I don't even know how to hurt this thing. I figure I have to jump high enough to hit the slime at the top. Jump! Whoa! That's quite a launch there. <laughs> that was beautiful. I would never have expected something like that. Oh, and now I'm stuck. Great. <laughs> I'm in the foreground plane and I can't get back to the middle. Oh, that might be a good time to end. Um, yeah, this was a pretty silly little game, wasn't it? But fun and nice. Oh, hello, Binda. Stretch. Oop. Okay, she's up now. She's climbing my chair. All right, uh, let's quit. Next game. Oh, this is a good one. So I've played this before. On ow! Ow! Don't put claws in the shoulder. Thanks. Um, yeah, I played this before in my own time, but I've never streamed it. Um, I was sort of saving up for maybe a mermaid stream down the track. Uh, one where I could play bunch of games like it. Let me see. Turn 24 by 768. That's good. But um, yeah, this is as good a time as any to play it because um, it's explicitly about the creator's experience um, transitioning, but in a metaphorical way. So it's not as um, explicit in its themes, but it it tells the story through metaphor, which is a nice way. Oh, uh, no! Stop! Don't bite it! Arr. Hold on a second, sorry. Hey, no biting. Why are you so mean? You bite me. Cruel, cruel fate. Um, but yeah, this is a good... Um... Ow! Ow! Ugh, get off. Uh, this is a good transition, or, yeah, mm, is that a bad pun? Um, the last game is low poly, this game is low poly, that's what I'm trying to say. But it's a really nice game that I really enjoyed. I played through the whole thing, I'm not going to do that on this stream because it takes too long. And VHS mode is distracting, so we're going to stay in this mode. I'm dreaming. In the dream, I swim effortlessly and with grace. feel different, yet familiar. For a moment, I forget that I'm dreaming. Too soon, I wake, feeling confused. No! So here we are, in our little underwater house. As I wake, the memories of my people and my village return to me. I remember the sea and the infinite blue of its depths. 
Somehow I feel like I've forgotten the self that drifted so easily through my dream. So you can do mouse and keyboard, which I did when I played through the whole thing, because eventually you need you actually need a middle click button for some of the powers you gain later on, and my mouse doesn't support that. Um, but I'm not going to play that far today. So playing with the mouse is nice. You get a, a little like, uh, you know, um, how do, how do you say like analog control over the direction that you're facing while you're swimming. So that's nice. It's a bit like Aquaria, the mermaid game that I've played. Um, which is a very nice game. So this guy likes to talk to you about Buddha. Cool. Fair enough. <laughs> but yeah, the, the aesthetic of this game is very strong. Low poly, vapor wave inspired. Um, the gameplay is inspired by Echo the Dolphin, as said on the game's page. Um, speaking of which, it was made in 2015 by Ellie Woods. E-L-L-I-W-O-O-D-S. Uh, so here's another person I can talk to, and all they want to talk about is tridents. Do not eat my ornaments. Get down. Naughty cat. And I am nonplussed by this line of, of conversation. I do not know this cute cat mouse game that you're talking about, but it sounds pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, I'm... A person with legs and I dream of being a person with a tail essentially so there's the metaphor and as we progress um, changes happen to our person outside the wonders of the ocean await me each day I seek adventure in its depths I lose myself to its currents hoping that I'll guide me to understanding ah oh, the color cycling it's amazing this game's really cool <laughs> So you collect the yellow triangles. It doesn't do much. You lose some when you die, so maybe they are a cost for respawning and if you run out it's game over, but I never got that far. You eventually end up with hundreds of them and although there's a section later in the game where you're repeatedly doing this like auto-scrolling um, high-speed swim through some currents and down waterfalls and stuff and I died many times there. But I always had enough triangles to um, get brought back. If you hit an obs if you hit a hazard though like this, you lose some. And yeah, that's that's how that works. But it's mostly about exploring. Um, although usually there's only one way to go. There in some of the larger caverns. Uh, or sometimes there's branching tunnels and then you can find the little pocket of a bunch of triangles to pick up um, or a statue to see in the background, that kind of thing. So it's mostly, you know, reasonably linear in terms of where you're going, but you can see there's two paths here. This one leads to just a little side area, some triangles. Yeah, this is really actually good with a mouse. <laughs> it's too bad I, I I do actually have a USB mouse with a middle click, so I could have used that, um, but I didn't at the time. But that's okay because I often um, get uncomfortable with mouse and keyboard position over long periods of time anyway. So I ended up mapping the controls to a controller, and that was much more comfortable for me in the long run, um, and easier for me to do the more complicated. Uh, you know, movement things that you have to do later on. So here's the fishtail people that I was dreaming about. I was dreaming about being one of them, but they're, they're not my people and they, they leave. That's how it goes in this game. The cat fell, followed your mouse around the screen. Hours of fun. <laughs> we were easily amused back then. <laughs> so there's a little hop you can do as you get to the surface, much like in Echo the Dolphin or Aquarium, um, but we can't swim powerfully enough to jump over this rock, so we have to backtrack. And I learned this all through trial and error. Um, and there's a lock there, so we can't get there, so we have to go back to the village. Luckily it just sort of warps us back at this point. I dream again.
This time, I'm not alone. I'm surrounded by others like me. We swim freely through the waters. Soon I will wake, yet I wish I would dream still. Danger Mouse says it's also mysterious and peaceful. Indeed, this is um, one of the best games on this list today, and um, I know for sure because I've played it before, but I, I really enjoy it, and it's really well made. Um, this was also made for a jam, by the way, but it's surprisingly well developed for that. Um, it was it came out in 2015. It's playable on PC, Mac, Linux, and browser, and it was made for Jam for Leela, which was a jam in honor of a... Um, trans woman who took her own life unfortunately and it was a sort of community outpouring of um, uh, games <laughs> but also emotion um, yeah so the the idea of that jam was to make games that promoted trans, posi trans positivity as the dream ends, I feel filled with both hope and dread. Yesterday's encounter is still vivid in my mind. Perhaps the others can guide me in my journey. So let's talk to the others and see if they can help me. Okay, first of all, let's talk to Trident Guy. By the way, the music's really cool in this game too. I'm asking if a blue person uh, and a green person can be like interchangeable but no green people are not blue people sad face so yeah the the metaphor is clear here i think speaking to the experience of um transitioning so what does buddha guy have to say <laughs> There is a way. A magical green crystal. Blue person plus gem equals green fish person. Exclamation mark. Direction. The lock door. I know that door. And they provided me with a key. Wonderful. Um, so, let me see. I'll make my way back over there. In the meantime, an interesting thing that I found when searching transgender games is that the majority of them are about the experience of male to female transitioning and there's not as many that have other perspectives which is just a trend I'm not saying it's um, good or bad but while searching for games for this that's something I definitely noticed but this one being a bit more abstract and um, metaphorical, I think, can apply to many different situations. So the ones, the the hot spring one was um, very definitely about a single experience, but it still it's still relatable and stuff. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Oops, um, one second, I'll be right back. So you get hit three times in a row when you sort of pass out and get respawned earlier in the room. Like so. Oop. Ugh, yeah. I'm trying to be too quick about it. Gotta be a bit more careful. So the whole analog control thing, that's very Aquaria, but it also reminds me of Shamu's Deep Sea Adventure on the DS. There was a version on GBA that didn't have the option of touchscreen, obviously, but the DS version lets you do buttons or uh, touchscreen controls. 
and both of them work quite well. But the DS one is, is like this. You, you touch on the screen the direction you want to go and then swim around. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And it really, I think, um, captures the feeling of swimming more than using button controls does. Okay, so we've opened the door. <laughs> Every time I hit a spiky thing, Danger Mouse winces. And Tonya says, this is really neat. Thank you, yeah, it's cool. I'm glad I discovered it because I really enjoy it. Ominous echoes clatter through the walls of the temple. It seems foreboding yet welcoming. Perhaps because I know within it lies the key to my happiness. Um, what's the time? Oh yeah, I should move on soon. This was a nice preview, I think, I guess. Um, I, hope, I hope people are impressed by it. And I've seen some people in the chat saying so. Yeah, okay, this is my main problem with the game, I guess, is when you're moving vertically, the camera actually takes a while to catch up to your position. So it, if, if you're trying to go at all quickly, you can easily hit something. And also I keep bringing up the, the status bar at the bottom, unfortunately, or the dock, I should say. OSX dock. Oh, this is one of the really cool music tracks. I'm going to be quiet for a minute. I also like how the geometry and the objects around sort of pulse in time with the beat of the music. It's just a little part of how well designed the aesthetics of this game are. Ah, well, I died. Oh yeah, that's a good call, Gibbon. He's saying it reminds him of Res and other stuff from that era. Yeah, the stuff that was playing with a low poly look and vibrant colors and things yeah um so just a little bit of a spoiler i do actually find a green gem later in this temple and it manages to transform me but only part way uh and so my legs are like partly joined but i can swim better and then later on as you progress further there's a couple of boss fights and you get more further stages of transformation and you do eventually um, achieve your dream and become a green fish-tailed person. so that's really awesome. Um, but I encourage you to find, it, find all this out for yourself by playing the game because it's really excellent. Um, but I've got more games to play today, so why don't we move on? Sorry. I do think that's my favourite. Um, partly because of the Echo the Dolphin <laughs> uh, relation, but yeah, I think it's really cool too. So the next one I have on the list, and again, this is all an arbitrary order, no particular order at all, but Slime Girl Chronicles. Uh, no window. Yeah, that, that'll work, right? When I tried it windowed, it was too large for my screen or something, and then I couldn't see some of it. Oh yeah, it's still cutting it off a bit on the sides. So that's unfortunate. Anyway, this is really cool. It's a stop motion adventure game. So you've got little clay models just going around someone's house. <laughs> um, but yeah, all done with photos that are then just compiled together. I think um, any child with a camera might have tried some stop motion experiments at some point. And it's a really cute little thing, but it's, it's surprisingly well uh, realized and they, they've made a lot of um, situations and models and things. And so, yeah, we're playing as um, Shapeshifter Serena, the uh, slime girl who can change into lots of different shapes for whatever situation. And she uses this power to, yeah, traverse obstacles and stuff. There's no sound in this game, so don't expect that. But it has such a charm to it with the handmade um, models that are made into graphics. It's really quite remarkable. So this is made by Jennifer Ray, and it's a sort of remake or sequel of an earlier game that she made called Shapeshift Serena, which was made for Ludum Dare 35, which is um, another game sort of jam competition thing. So I'm just trying out different options. I don't really know what's going to work. 
Oh, the bomb did not work, and I got sent back. Kaboom. Let's try the skirt. So yeah, this is like the rival character. Oh, I tore off the head of the snake. Yikes. I want that orb. Oh no, snake reformed. See, our rival is also a shapeshifter. <gasps> oh, cool. <laughs> that reminds me of Lego Batman, the Lego Batman movie, where the table comes apart and then it comes together. Spoilers. Claymation, stop motion. Yes, everything is clay. <laughs> Violent little blob. <laughs> yes, well. It's okay. Everyone can just rejoin themselves. So what do we think is going to get them down from there? I don't remember the name of this other character. I do have all the game pages open on my phone, so if you give me a second. Oh, that seemed to work. Snake fell down. Oh! Oh! Oh no, it got me. So that was not the right thing. Um, yes, my rival is the mysterious Nitro Nami. What's her deal? She just showed up mysteriously on the scene. Seems she has a beef with Serena, but what could it be? That's all I'm going to tell you. Lots of crazy things happen in this game, says uh, the description. It also says sound slash music coming soon, so look forward to that. Let's try the spring. Boing. Oh. Get bounced. <laughs> she did not like that. Uh oh. So this is a point and click adventure game, clearly. Um, yes, I'll flip you back with the pinball flipper. Um, and I'm playing it today because one of the tags on the game page says uh, transgender. It also says clay, feminine, femme, queer, slime girls, stop motion. Um, it's unclear which of the characters is intended to be transgender, but hey, there you go. As Hadri said, sometimes you can't tell who is and who isn't. Um, so that was very strange. I don't know what just happened, but now I'm in a black sheet world. Oh. That's a nice effect. To be continued. Oh no! I didn't know it was so short. <laughs> short but sweet. Um, and yeah, as I said up top, some of the games today uh, are just a game that happens to include transgender protagonists or even just NPCs. And it can be hard to tell. Okay, that's the end. So that was Slime Girl Chronicles Part 1 very cute little thing and I always am a sucker for claymation um, so I guess that means we have a bit of extra time what is next okay the next on my no particular order list is she being crazy a cat Minna is very excitable for some reason you know, cats have these moods. <laughs> I think she killed the spider before she ate it. Car is in repair, but today is tournament day. Had to go by bus. So this is a game by Lowpolis, L-O-W-P-O-L-I-S, called Good Morning Drifter, made in 2018 for a competition, a jam, called A Game By Its Cover 2018. This was a jam where... Participants had to select um, a fake mock-up game cover that was created for Famicase, which is a um, sort of exhibition of made-up Famicom game cartridges. And you pick one, and then you make a game based on that that would fit the cover art. So this is based on Saturday Race Club, and that's the idea here. We're part of a little club who meets up in this um, empty car park, uh, on a Saturday, to have little races in our reasonably priced cars. And let's talk to the people. But yeah, the protagonist here today has um, not been able to bring their car, but they want to join in on the fun anyway. 
and they all have these code names. So this is Honey Ginger. Yo, Rose. <clears throat> Yo, Rose, so you're without a car, huh? Do you need some help with the repair? Feel free to ask me anything. I'm free for almost the entire week. Cool. I don't know about the voices. I don't, I don't know if I should do voices. Hey, um, Pink Rose. Sorry, I'm not fully used to saying these club names out loud yet. I've been practicing at home, though. I'm Dandelion, you know. By the way, I don't see your car anywhere. Why would you park it elsewhere, weirdo? Oh, I see. Hope it'll be back to normal soon, though. Because, you see, I thought you and I would, you know. Well, it's all right. Next time, then. Oh, okay. And this all happens in real time. We just wander around um, and then watch the other people do their races. And we can sort of uh, influence the outcome of it in some ways, from what I could read. That is a really cute poncho. Hi, Rowanberry. Good morning. Glad you're still keen even without your car. We're short on audience today, so I bet everyone is happy to see you. Once again, the accents are a mistake, and yet I continue to do them. I apologize. I really do. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> it's Elderflower. Greetings, P-Rose. Why are you walking? Huh? You came here by bus this early in this freezing weather just to watch us race? You sure are a noble racing club member. Ginger bought prayers again today, huh? I really wanted one last time, you know, but today I'd really rather go have some taiyaki. I might volunteer to bring something new for eating next time. Hey, people. Let's not forget we're racing today. Start with dandelion and elderflower. Three laps, two races. You know it all. Now get ready and move to the starting line. Coming. Whoa. Dude. That was a cool backflip. Let's quickly talk to the last person. Hello. Oh yeah, I forgot I have to click. C. Buckthorn. Hey there, fellow racer. How's it going? You're actually the first club member to show up by bus. Maybe we should organize some non-racing activities for people who just come to chill and hang out. Have you ever seen so many pairs in one place? Besides when in a grocery store, I mean. Ginger is really coming out of their way to make sure Elderflower finally gets one, if you know what I mean. Okay, ready, set, go! So this is a kind of slow game. Um, you just wander around, you can watch the events happen, and you can talk to the people, interact with them. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Don't crash like that! What kind of club is this? I thought this was supposed to be leisurely. Um, <laughs> so let me read the tags that are associated with this on Itch.io. 3D. Alt game. Atmospheric. First person. Multiple endings. Narrative. Non-binary. Slice of life. Transgender. So again, this is just a game that happens to have some non-binary and trans uh, characters in it. Oh, and I can run, by the way, <laughs> to get around. And yeah, here's the pairs that were brought along. Um, let me see, what was the... Yeah. I can eat the pears. Eating pears is prominently displayed on the games page on each year. Whoa, careful. Those fences are pretty flimsy. I guess that's it for the race. Elderflower has won the first race of the day. Hold on. I have to put you down for one second because the cat is chewing things. Hey, get out of there. Hey, what's that? <gasps> you knocked my crocodile off again? Very rude. Get out. Get out. You knocked Diddy Kong off. Why would you do that, you naughty thing? Go away. Man, it lost its legs again. Aww. I'll find them eventually, unless you swallowed them. I've got this little Zoid from Zoid's Wild um, that I got from a Gashapon machine. And it, its legs keep falling off. You didn't see it coming, did you? Oh, there's a drone up there. That's cool. Gonna film the races. It's a nice little van, by the way. Elderflower won. Let's go congratulate them. 
Oh boy. Miss some chat here. Um, is one of them an ice cream van? I guess it's just a van. Yeah. Danger Mouse says, that is my favorite voice. And now I don't know which voice she's talking about. Tanya says, I should watch Lilo and Stitch again. They got talent. Yeah, actually, that is bad, isn't it? To just throw your pear core out on the ground. Littering. And no, it's not an amiibo. It's one of the, uh, what was it? Ja ja Jack Pacific? Jazz Pacific? Something? Um, little action figures. It came in a triple set with DK and, D and Dixie. Yes, she is a leprechaun. All right, let's talk to the winner. Who was it? Elderflower. And I believe that was this person. Oops. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. I cannot talk while I'm eating a pear. That's just how it is. I know that was Buckthorn. They're both so enthusiastic and demotivated all the time. Makes for unpredictable competitions. Uh, which one was... It wasn't you, was it? Yes, it was. Okay. Wasn't this race a piece of cake for me? Takes more than that to unleash my full potential. However, it would also take a good nap to... F <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, let's talk to the loser. I'm sorry, you lost. Is Elderflower the best in this club by any chance? They seem pretty straightforward and fashionable too. You think? They're just wearing a puffer jacket. <laughs> and shorts. <laughs> oh, and tights. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess. I don't see it myself. Hey, who's up next? Seems like Elderflower really got inspired by those movies they've started renting lately. They might even finally be into real racing now, not just hanging out with us. They sure are trying to pull off some fictional stunts though. Ah! Ow! That darn cat. All right, what's next? Oh, very soon. Sea Buckthorn and Honey Ginger. That would be uh, the one in the Santa hat and uh, the one in the green hat. Should be a good match. Okay, I'm going to watch this one properly. Honey Ginger and Sea Buckthorn, are you ready? You're the best. Don't damage my cones. Yeah, this is happening. <laughs> I love that. I really love that. The awesome flips into the car. Let's say we try to influence this race, huh? I'll throw a pair into the uh, in, in the way of somebody who I don't want to win. But who am I barracking for? Ready. Spaghetti. A go! Nom. Nom. So when they drive past here, I'm going to throw my core. One more chew, and then I throw. Ooh, nasty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, take that. <laughs> did that actually affect it? I think maybe it did. <laughs> Yikes. Let's have a quick chat to uh, Rowan over here. No way, Elderflower's finally won. Guess they started taking these races more seriously at last. Excited to see the next race. And the drone took off. Who's piloting it? Where'd it go? I think it's giving us a view. That's the implication. Oh, is that it? No, that's a leaf. Was I fooled by a leaf? Yeah. Alright, we're coming up to the end now. I forget whose car is whose. <laughs> there we go. What? No way! Honey Ginger has just finished first. My gosh, what a race. Come on back now. Whoa! That was quite a move. Uh, wish my car could do a 180 flip on the spot. Ooh. Sorry. I'm in the way. <laughs> Wait for it. I gotta see them flip out. Yeah, awesome. Hey, how's it going? Looks like it's working well. If you notice anything strange, report to me right away. 
What? What do you mean? Do we have a secret plan? What's our plan? Hey, you lost. Sorry. Yep, they're all good-natured about it. That's the point of Saturday Morning Club. Driving Club, whatever it's called. <laughs> Saturday Race Club? Yeah. Even though that's not the title of the actual final game. Um, Danger Mouse likes the leaves blowing around. Yeah, that's a nice touch. So it did say there are multiple endings, which implies that there are endings, but I don't know how long it takes to get to them. And yeah, we haven't impacted things too much so far. Who's in the next race? Dandelion versus Sea Buckthorn for third place. Oh, okay, so it's like a round robin tournament. Not round robin, but um, we're playing off the third now for, with the losers of the previous races. So C Buckthorn is the brown coat, and Danny Lane is this one. How you feeling? So Honey Ginger isn't just a pair provider, they're good at racing too. What's wrong with me today? I'm just freaking out I'm making dumb jokes all the time. Hmm. Is something going on between these two? C Buck is as fresh as ever. That's good to see, right? What I mean is, even that defeat was very classy and fun to watch. Yes, it was. Oop. Next race is starting. Third place out of four is cool too. Actually, all four places. Pretty good and respectful. Here goes. Not going to lose this time. <laughs> okay, this time I'm going to jump out in front of the cars and see what they do. I'm tired of being passive. Also, I'm going to eat another pear. In real life, I do not like pears. I only like Granny Smith apples. Wait a minute. This hand icon. It's only got three fingers. Oops, I'm missing the race. Yeah, three fingers. Hope you saw that. Um, see? Yeah. What? How many fingers do the other people have? Am I an alien? Okay, they're wearing mittens. <laughs> They have their hands in their pockets on it, or their arms folded, yeah. One, two, three. It looks like there's space for a pinky there. Hmm. That's definitely four fingers. Am I a freak? I think I'm wearing mittens too. Nom. I am. Oh, stripy shirt. Nice. And a black skirt? possibly and a bubble hat and hands directly by my sides that's cool I wish there was a mirror oh well hey buddy how's the race going <laughs> you having fun oh no I really actually influenced the outcome there <laughs> Dandelion has spread their wings and whipped the third place away from C Buckthorn what a roller coaster Oops, sorry, C. Buckthorn. <laughs> Danger Mouse is affronted by my lack of pear appreciation because pears are the bomb. We'll see. She says, "I like making. I make dumb jokes when I'm nervous too. Often making situations worse." Yeah, I getcha. Oh, okay. Gibbon's theory is that our character here lost a finger in a tragic racing accident. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. Probably something not unlike what I've just done and s stepped out in front of a moving car. How about some more pairs? <laughs> and I'm gonna put the core in the van. Yeah, with the other one. Hey, hey, do you like how I cheated and made you win? <laughs> That's hilarious. Why would you do stuff? Why would you do that? Is stuff like that normal here? I'm suddenly getting sick thoughts about this racing club stuff. Please don't do that again. And if something particular has happened, please tell me. Everyone's alluding to something. Oh no, it's just him. Oh, uh, them. 
did you try to skew the racing? Because that's the second worst thing to do right after risking your own and others' lives. Don't run around the track, bud. Seriously, just don't. No, I'm sorry. Everyone's reprimanding me for it, and rightly so. I feel bad. I look down at my feet. I'm sorry. But that means Honey Ginger and... What's this? Elderflower will be going in the final there. This isn't a racing movie shooting club, you know. You could actually get hurt. Don't do it, okay? If you want some fun in your life that bad, you can always come to my place for an all-night dark street races saga marathon instead. I'll think about it. <laughs> hey yo. We both know it's against the rules to interfere in a race. Your behavior was reckless and dangerous. Let's just imagine there's a fence all around the track, okay? Okay. So nice about it. I was pretty sure Dandelion could win the race, and they actually did, huh? I'm so glad they finally decided to join our club, instead of just observing from afar. Hopefully they're going to stay for good. I wonder what made Sea Buckthorn lose both times. They're usually very good, even in this weather. Maybe they got distracted. I know a really good breathing technique that improves focus. I'll teach it to both you and Sea after the lunch. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe there is something going on here, and my job is to discover what it is. Better talk to whoever's racing next. Whoa, this new dandelion sure is spicing things up. I'm getting third place on their first day. Not bad for a newcomer. Gotta make sure they aren't some sneaky spy from the Sunday race club, though. <laughs> Let's see what Rowan has to say. Seriously, Minna? Get out! She is just nuts today. You all excited? We made it to the finals. Who will take the first place? Who will be the Park Avenue Champion of the Week? Elderflower or Honey Ginger? Spin your wheels to the victory, my angels. Get your crater pairs ready. I'm going to count them this time. Here we go. Rowan, Rowan, quick, chat to me. Can't believe this. What were you thinking? You could hurt yourself or one of the races. Don't enter the racing track during the showdown. You're not a first-timer. Please pay attention. I'm in awe. This race was so delicate. Dandelion is the poet of our club. Third place, well-deserved. You two are friends, right? Please help them with keeping it up. Seabuck is not in their best shape today. I wonder if everything's okay. Not that everything is always okay, but still. Oh, ready? Spaghetti. Go. Okay, what else do you have to say? I wonder what we're all going to eat later for celebrating your lunch. Elderflower really wanted some taiyaki, but I don't think Seabuck is into cute food like that. And this dandelion too. I have no idea what they like. Guess I'll have to vote on this real club style. Mmm, the lunch drama. Let's look up what taiyaki is. Taiyaki is a Japanese fish-shaped cake. It imitates the shape of Thai. It is also the origin of the name. Thai is the Japanese red sea brim. Yes. It's like a little soft cake filled with red bean paste, probably. Or other things. I don't know. I don't know if I'd call that a lunch, to be honest. All right. Was not paying attention to the race, but somebody won. <laughs> what a pure victory. It's been long since we've last had such an intense race. So who's the winner? Second to none. Park Avenue Champion of the Week. Elderflower. Yes, Elderflower deserves a crate of pears. Too bad I've eaten half of them already. <laughs> These car people are so talented. They need to be in an acrobatic circus. Yes. Um, Danger Mouse says that I'm a detective. Oh, they did the flip again. I'm a detective in this case, trying to figure out the interpersonal relationships. Also, she's telling me off for not doing stupid accents. Rowan is supposed to sound like a leprechaun. Ah, uh, sorry. I can't keep it up. And also, I can't remember whose voice is whose. Let's congratulate... Uh, wait. This, this, this person. Hello. Did you watch the race? How was I? Super cool, right? Everybody's so surprised as if they weren't expecting me to ever become the champion. I need to keep in mind to take a close look at that crate of pears I won. You didn't take any again, did you? Um, uh, um, no. Uh. 
honey. I wonder if elder flowers. Magic moon drifting kingdom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Today's races were very good. I only wish I had to more time to prepare for them. Cool. So, do we get an ending? The races are all over. The champion's been crowned. Elderflower won. Tell me, race queen. Ah, oh, Elderflower's never won before. And now they're like the best drifter of the week. I'm going to bring a pair to them. Uh, not many left. Yoink. Hey, Elderflower. You deserve this pair, buddy. I know you're supposed to get the whole crate, but I ate most of them. Um, um, here. Uh, take it. Oops, I accidentally ate it. Oh well. <laughs> Not impressed. <laughs> yep. Cool stuff. <laughs> Very excited for Taiyaki. Um, I don't know. I guess you just keep talking to people. But I think it's time for me to move on. This was a nice little game. Very cute. But I don't have the time or attention to invest in it, unfortunately. Okie dokie. Yeah, my guess it's like one of the office building car parks. Um, we have them in my suburb because there's a lot of public service office buildings. And on a weekend, nobody's in working, so they're completely empty. Um, oh, Danger Mouse thinks that Elderflower has the cutest face in the game. That's cool. Well, you must be glad that they won. Okay, next up. Flower Game is a Game Boy game but I'm not going to play. Um, it's made by uh, the same person as One Night Hot Spring. Um, it's like a homebrew Game Boy thing. But yeah, I had that in there as a backup, but I think I've got enough other things to do. So this game is called One Small Favor 2016, uh, made by Nadia Nova for Yuri Game Jam 2016 and also entered in GB Jam 5. So it's mimicking the Game Boy style. Where am I? Is this a dungeon? So, um, yeah, that other one is actually made to work on a Game Boy, but this one is just sort of Game Boy-esque. I'm pretty sure that's our fridge. Why is it filled with pears? We're both allergic to pears. Pears again? What's it with pears? Hold S to run. I think I might do that. I recognize that toilet anywhere. I'm happy we bought it even though it was expensive, because it's comfortable. But why is it here? So there's no sound in this game either. It's filled with crumpled up tissue papers. Um, the original release of the game did have sound. It had a short jingle of music going over the whole gameplay, but people in the comments complained about it. And then the, the creator agreed that it was annoying and removed it from our subsequent update. <laughs> so there's a mysterious hole. Oh, it was just a weird dream. And I fell out of bed. Sun and I is still sleeping even though I made all that ruckus. So if you don't know, Yuri is a term for um, media involving, uh, as Penny said earlier, WLW, women loving women. Um, the opposite is Yaoi. And they're Japanese terms that started in like manga and fan art and stuff. Cutest button, even though she snores sometimes. I should probably let her be. She had a hard day at work yesterday. Feel like I'm forgetting something. Hmm. What am I forgetting? Bathroom. Yep, it's my girlfriend's birthday today. I knew I was about to forget something. I promised her breakfast in bed. Bacon and scrambled eggs. It's her favorite. I better go check the fridge. So, bacon and eggs. Yeah, there's no bacon left. I have to go buy some fast. So that is our quest. We need to make breakfast for our girlfriend. But we're out of bacon, so we need to find bacon at the mart. Um, yeah, so as I said, this is made by Nadia Nova, who is a Finnish game creator. And as stated on her profile in on Itch.io, 
her goal is to fill the transgender tag with as many games as she can. So that's that's where I found this game. It's in there uh, under LGBT and transgender and everything. But this is another one of those ones where it's just um, not important to the story. It's just a background element that uh, doesn't come to the forefront. But that's good too. And that's a form of visibility. Is normalizing um, trans people, I guess. Hey Mira, how are you today? Hey, nice to see you, Tessa. It's a slow day at work as usual. So you working hard or hardly working? Tessa, please, you say that every time. Sorry, I think it's really funny. That's all right, you're a cutie. So what are you looking for? I need bacon, some on the counter. Did you look? I did not look. This is definitely Animal Crossing furniture. A brand new exotic sofa. We should buy one at some point. Not now, we need to save up for a laptop. It's this, it looks like Kermit the Frog. Milk, I can't stand the taste of milk. Summer likes it though, so sometimes I have to buy it. Not this time though, we have one in the fridge. So which of these is bacon, do you think? Probably not this one. It's a Game Boy. <laughs> it's not even the one with colors. I guess someone ordered it for nostalgia reasons. Um, I think this might be the bacon. What is this? Vegan bacon. Why is there vegan bacon? I want actual bacon. Uh, maybe you can just cook it and not tell her and she won't notice. It's a packet of hormones. Estrogen is the best way to salt is the best way to save girls from the dangers of testosterone. <laughs> this town is small enough to not have a pharmacy, so we get our medicine from this store. You just have to ask the manager beforehand to order some. So they implied with the Game Boy that someone had ordered that too. So all these things are just things that people ordered and they put them on a counter. Um, well, uh, that's some adult content. New release of an indie zine. I want to buy it. I gotta tell Sana first though. Yeah, don't go spending money without consultation. Oh, um, I didn't know this game had profanity. I saw, I'm sorry, uh, what do I do now? Hey, give me the raw bacon. Tina just came here before you and she bought the bacon. Do you have any bacon in the back? No, sorry, I put the last one on display today. We'll have some more next Tuesday. But it's Sana's birthday today, I need it now. <laughs> yes so yeah very animal crossing style that and having things out on the tables like that is is animal crossing esque as well isn't it as well as all the cute little animal creatures um well i, I don't want to potentially get any more naughty language in the dialogue so i might actually end this one early but it's very cute um and the writing is fun if you have the tolerance for the language. Let me see. Well, considering the time, I think we can play flower game a little bit then. How about that? Oh, what? <laughs> Oops, hang on. This is odd. I haven't actually done this before. <laughs> Do we have a full screen option? <laughs> uh, maybe in the preferences. I use this simulator a lot, but I rarely use full screen mode. Um, hmm, never mind then. We'll just have it like this, that's fine. So, uh, let's play another one. Yeah, I would have got the vegan bacon. Tonya says sometimes profanity is fine. Yeah, but I like to keep the stream family friendly. Um, oh, so many comments I missed, I'm sorry. Yeah, they'd be good spaces for learner drivers. Yeah, the empty car parks. I learnt to drive at Carmel Library's car park when that was empty on a weekend. Um, Alright, yes. So here's a similarly adorable game, and it's made for Game Boy, and it works on actual Game Boys, apparently. Um, but it's also distributed on uh, Itch.io. So if you have an emulator to use, then you can play it just fine. So this game is was listed in the non-binary category for non-binary protagonists. Um, and yeah, this is me, Marin, Marin, who is like a cute little cat or something. Unclear. But it's a very gentle and cute little game. Someone's at the door. 
Now, I didn't actually have anything written about this because I only started it because uh, the other one was shorter than I expected, so hold on a second, I'll get up the information. Um, oh, what happened? So, by NPC KC, the same person who made uh, One Night Hot Springs, this is Marin Helps a Friend. Um, released in 2019. Um, uh, yes, okay, it's an adventure game made for Friendship Jam which is a jam for creating games focusing on friendship. So this game is about the friendship between these two characters, Marin and Mugi. Marin, sorry, I just... Mugi, what are you? Sorry, I... Can I hide here just for today? Okay, I don't know what happened, but let's have a cup of tea first. Come on, sit down. Just wait here, okay? Thanks, Marin. Mugi looks worried. I wonder what's wrong. I can ask after, though. For now, tea time. So, yeah, it's a game about the platonic friendship between these two characters. Um, okay, let's get the kettle out. Next, fill it with water. And time to boil. Oh, and all the sprites are so adorable. Good use of the Game Boy palette, too. We're playing this on um, Super Game Boy mode, I believe, uh, from memory which adds slight palette shifts to the different shades, which is nice. Uh, so what happened, Moogie? It's a bit silly. That's okay, I still want to know. The truth is, I lost my flower dance bouquet. Flower dance? Is that today? Don't tell me you forgot. I completely forgot. I mean, I can't go anyway. I'm too young to get a bouquet, so I can only go if I'm invited. Wait, you lost your bouquet? You can't go without one. I know, that's my problem. I can't go to the dance now. I can't just stay at home, though. That's why I came to your house. But that's terrible. Don't you want to go to the dance? Even if I did, I can't go without a bouquet. I got it! I'll just find the bouquet for you. What? You don't have to. Of course I do. You're my friend. Don't worry, I've got it handled. Where do you think it might be? Well, there were four flowers. I might have dropped them. Somewhere in town, probably. Somewhere in town. Okay, you just wait right here, then. I'll be right back, Moogie. You really don't have to. So, this is um, actually really similar to uh, One Small Favor. Um, we're a cute little animal person in a cute little town with Game Boy-style aesthetics. And we're just doing a simple little task to help our friend. Um, let's see, I, I actually think time has gone away from me a little bit, so I won't play this for too long. Moogie went to the dance already. I'm just visiting. Ooh, scones. Or scones. I normally say scones. But I would say scones if I was putting on a British accent. And yes, it's all about the interaction with the other people in our little village. I feel like the music's lagging, or else it's just a little slower than I expect it to be. Um, but that's okay, it gives the game a nice, relaxed feel. Um, let me see. Alright, let's stop. I'm going to play the last game on our list now. So, we didn't spend much time with this, but... It's very cute, very nice little little thing. Um, yeah, so let's do the next one. Uh, graphics medium, why not? I think my computer can handle it. Uh, mixed up Mother Goose, is that the name of the mouse game that you were thinking of? No, she sent me a screenshot, hold on. Live on stream, I'm going to open Snapchat, apparently. 
It's called Neko. Oh, that's so cute. Open source animated cursor chasing cat screen made application. Okay, so it's not strictly a game, but it's a little sort of cat that lives on your desktop. And as you move the mouse around, it follows it. I think I know about this, or it seems familiar anyway. Very cute. Hang on, I know that font. I've used that font in comic translations. Anyway, um, yeah, Onion. This, this game is made by Onion, with some help. Um, hmm, frame rate's a little... Uh, I might actually launch this in a lower resolution. But I'll tell you a little about Onion. I've played an Onion game before on my stream. It was during the... Um, Ichio Animal Games stream I played, or non-human protagonists stream, I guess, is what it was. Uh, it was A Day in the Life of a Sea Witch, a bitsy game, so Onion is known for their, their bitsy adventure games, which are very small, little cute um, things, very simple mechanics. Uh, bitsy is the popular style of game on Ichio. Um, but every game that they make is tagged with everyone is non-binary so that's their agenda is all their characters are, are non-binary characters which is cute and cool um, and often they represent themselves or, or their main character is a, is a small onion person um, and the onion detective series is i guess what they're most known for but this game is a 3d game they like crabs oh god they're so cute those ears and glasses so these two people are having a conversation. Oh, they're so cute. The cute little whiskers twitched. I want to pat them. Oh, these two cute characters like each other. How adorable. So yeah, this is um, Late Night Observations. In case you missed that. 2018, made by Onion. And let me see, since I've been looking at the tags of these games, why not check this one out? It'll tell you a little about what they're trying to achieve with it. So the tags here are 3D, atmospheric, casual, cozy, everyone is non-binary, exploration, first person, low poly, single player, walking simulator. So that's what this game's about. You just explore this area and you interact with the people around. Hello? Maybe I shouldn't be fishing at night. The fish is probably asleep. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna swim with the fishes. Hey, buddy. Nom. Don't catch me. What's this? Their two shoes are different. Mismatched shoes, is that a style? Interesting. How cute are the characters though? Doesn't look like that guy's caught anything yet. Hmm. <laughs> no, Mix Up Mother Goose is what the last game reminded Danger Mouse of. Neko was a game when all else you had on your PC was a CD-ROM of an encyclopedia. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're just going to explore this little cute world. See what we can find. Hello. The stars are so pretty. I think I could watch them forever. A million universes all just out there. What's on... Oh, I think... That character on the shirt is from another another one of Onion's games. Um, let me see. Uh, I can't find it right now, but it, it reminds me of uh, another game I saw. Well, let's watch the stars a little bit with this fox person. Hmm. Nice view. Twinkly. Danger Mouse says that her seven-year-olds wear mismatched socks on purpose every day. Wow. I can't stand wearing mismatched socks. It really messes with my, uh, you know. I don't want to say OCD, but if I do, it's very, very mild. Um, but things like that bother me. Hmm. So nice stars and nice fireflies, too. Very cute. I'm getting a bit of frame drops here, I notice, but that's all right. Okay, there's the big campfire over there with all the tents, but there's a smaller one over here. Whoa, there's so many particles coming out there. But yeah, the objective is just to explore and... I don't know. Do stuff. <laughs> there's no objective, I guess. That's the thing. Some games 
They don't need an objective. They just have a space for you to discover. What is what? You scare me. And yet I must talk to you. I don't understand. Oh, it's a shark head in like a, a full body suit so that they can survive outside the water, I guess. <laughs> and they're wearing like a big fishbowl on their head full of water. Okay, so it's a shark holding a mushroom and a torch. Oh, those look like Bitsy characters. I think I recognize some of them from Onion's other games. Very cute. Um, hello? This mushroom. It's so big. I must find another. Then I can make a magic potion. Okay, shark friend. Here's a mushroom. Uh, I don't think I can pick stuff up. Well, good luck. You don't have to go far. <laughs> Is that a light over there? Hmm. Oh, it's the ocean. Am I on an island? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it took me a while to understand what that shark was exactly. Apparently it's the same for Danger Mouse. Hmm, driftwood. Love it, love it. Um... <laughs> She also says, I don't like camping, but this is making me want to go camping. Ah, uh, yes. Let me see. Ah, jump. I haven't tried that yet. I'm reading the description. Um, a small game where you can walk around the island and relax. Jump on trees. Watch the waves. Gaze at the stars. That's the description. Click on lights to turn them on and off. Um, click on the boom box. Click on an NPC will let you hear their thoughts. Okay, so they're not actually talking to me. I am somehow reading their mind. Okay, before I check that out at the beach, I want to jump on a tree. Whoops. Yep, can jump up a little bit. Can't quite make it up any higher than that. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh, that's cool. And unlike in uh, Good Morning Drifter, I cannot look down my own body. I have no presence in this world. A lot of trees on this island, I guess. All right, let's go see who that was. Huh. Oh, I thought it was a unicorn, but it's just sort of a pool float. Inflatable unicorn. Hello. It's an owl person. Very cute. Those bergs were so good, and those peanut butter brownies were real nice. Don't know what a berg is, but nice sandcastle. You're getting wet. You must be okay with that. It's a cute chipmunk. What if there's a mermaid out there and they want to date me? Oof. I know, right? Oh my gosh, I can go under. <laughs> Can't see any mermaids though. What if we keep going to the horizon? <clears throat> Danger Mouse says, this game seems very calming. Like to de-stress, just go exploring. Relaxing. Love it. This is my kind of game, she says. Wow. Let me introduce you to the genre of walking simulators. There, is, there are many of them out there. And if you go to Itch.io and go by genre tag in your search, you can find all sorts of walking simulators. I believe... Uh, well, not all of them are going to be relaxing in the same way. Oh. Oh. I fell. I fell down. I fell off the world. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. I'm falling through the stars. This is actually... Oh, I've lost the world. I think it despawned, and so have the stars. I'm in a void. This is like next level walking simulator stuff right here. But I'm still falling, as you can see by the vague striations of the skybox slowly changing. Um, let me see, I, I was going to say that in the big sort of quarantine aid sale thing where a lot of creators on Itch.io have made their games free to help people who are isolated um, to be entertained in this time, uh, I noticed one of them was 
what was it called? Like monthly walking simulator something something club. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember, but it's a it looked really interesting, walking simulator stuff. Not all of them have the goal of being relaxing. Some of them tell a story, some of them are kind of strange and wacky. <laughs> yes, I did just walk off the edge of the earth. Huh. It's interesting. Danger Mouse used to play Wii Fit jogging just to go and wander around the island. Not actually jogging, just looking around. Was that when it was on Woohoo Island? Because I can understand exploring that place. That was pretty cool stuff. Um, what's the time? Yeah, so this seems like a very natural way to end this stream. I walked off the edge of the world and fell into the endless void. Read into that metaphor what you will. But... I think I've played some really cool and interesting games today, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, yeah. I, I tried to get a sampling of different kinds of games that um, were made by transgender and non-binary creators and are about the experience of those um, communities. But there's plenty more like them on Itch.io if you want to go looking yourself. And I encourage you to do so. But this might be a good starting point, the ones I played today. So, thank you very much for watching and participating in the chat. Um, oh, wow, you get followed around by kittens and puppies in Wii Fit? That's amazing. <laughs> uh, I didn't know that Wii Fit was a walking simulator, but I guess it is because you walk. Yeah, interesting. Um, yeah, so I'll be back next week. I don't know, know yet what I'll be playing, but I uh, hope to see you then and communicate with you. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. I have to close this to then stop now. But yeah, thanks for joining me. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.